Hey everyone, Techni here with a really cool product to show you guys today. Some of you have probably heard of these and some of you have probably seen them in a bunch of my videos. And that is lizard skins. And yeah, we got quite a few here. We got them for the Xbox, for the Switch, for the PlayStation, and then for your mice as well. By the way, all of these right here, I'm gonna be giving them all the way. So as far as lizard skins, what they are is just pretty much like this rubber textured sticky deal that you put on, again, whichever device you have right there. These guys, or this company, they make it like a lot of sporting stuff. I believe like bat grips and then uh, I think like uh, tennis racket grips and stuff. So again, kind of think of that, but it's not as really mushy and squishy as you would see on say like a baseball bat or something. Quite thin right there, but it is comfortable. It is quite squishy where you sink into it, you know, but that's what it is. Again, it's gonna be a grip for, again, whichever device you have right here. And I use it across all of them. So as you can see right here, I put lizard skins on just about all of my favorite mice, you know, starting with the XM1 over here. Again, you just cut it out, slap it on right there, Nice grip for both sides. I mean, heck, put it on one side if you want. You can even put it on button one or two and then back here in the palm. Me personally, I don't like them on one and two or the palm, just my personal preference. But again, on the sides, wow. Where it really comes into play is say like a mouse with honeycomb or cutouts or something on the side. You all know I can't stand that. It hurts the side of my fingers over there. But again, you get these grips, covers it right up. Absolutely fantastic. Again, grippy and then reduces those holes on the side. Coming over here to like the ZA series mouse. This one was a little different. Again, you got the ambi shape, but whenever I put the skins on, it came up and made the buttons almost right in line. So it almost felt like the Viper, right? The Viper Ultimate or something like that, right? Where the buttons are flush in line with the body. And that's a no-go for me. So I cut out a little tab right there for each button. Now it sticks up there and they don't actually slide around. They're on there super tight. And again, it works out amazing. Even coming over with the uh, Steel Series Rival 310 here. You know, this guy already comes with grips on it, but I use the heck out of this mouse. Those grips are getting a little bit, they weren't peeling off or anything, but again, they were just starting to wear down a little bit and get a little bit slick right there. So I slapped these right over it, bam right back in business. And that even goes for console controllers. As you see, I have one on the Xbox controller and the PS4 controller over here. And it just feels so good. It really does. It's just like, I don't know, it's just, it's so grippy, but not like slimy or mushy. Again, it's really nice. Now talking on the console controllers, it's a little funky here. Cause you look down on the bottom where it kind of, you know, bows out right at the end where it's going to go into your palm. I do slightly feel wherever it stops on the edges and then in and then on the Xbox where you got the couple gaps right there. So that's a little bit annoying at first. I mean, I'm completely used to it now and it doesn't really bother me at all. But when I first put them on, that was a little annoying. Now, unfortunately for the Switch, I do not use them. Cause as you can see, both of my Switch, the Switch Lite and then the regular Switch, I put these cases on them, these uh, grip cases right here. Let me tell you what, this grip case is absolutely amazing. And if you own a Switch, trust me and get one of these. You will thank me later. It makes your experience so much better. Anyways. As far as the grips, I can't use them because then again, it won't fit in the case. Again, these cases are really snug on here and everything, but I guess if you use your Joy-Cons uh, separately or you just hold your Switch separately, this will be an awesome option for a grip on that. By the way, one other thing I want to touch on here, if you're mobile gaming, you use like an Xbox controller or something, you know where you got that clip on there, then your phone's up there, kind of just weighing down that controller. Let me tell you what, these grips will actually change your experience and make it that much more enjoyable because again, it just locks into your hand. It's not slipping out with the weight of the phone or anything thing and it makes it a little more cozy. De definitely massive improvement for mobile gaming here. So now as far as using the grips right here, you can go on to Lizard Skin's website and they have a few templates out there. XM1 had a template and then a couple Zowie mice and then I believe like Model Low and the Viper and stuff like that. And they'll give you a little template, bam, just slap it on your skin whenever you pull it out, say for the mice, because this is just a straight sheet right here. You're going to print it on there, trace it out, cut it out, bam, and it's gonna fit on it. But again, that's not for everything. Now going into console, when you open these up, there's actually, they're actually gonna be set for the console. It tells you where to paste it down and then where to fold it over and everything. And it fits absolutely perfect like a glove. No cut needed for the console ones. Again, it's the mice that you need to cut. But I wanna show you a little tip, a little trick here. I'm gonna have to open one of these uh, for the giveaway here. But anyways, you're gonna take this little, uh, grid paper right here, a little sticky paper. You stick it on the side of the mouse. Whenever it sticks down there, again, it's gonna kind of form into the shape of that there, right? Take yourself a little pencil and just trace it very lightly. Not trace it, but kind of, what do you call, sketch when you're right over the line and then you'll see the line outline there. Then on the bottom and right by the buttons, and it works perfect. Because again, there was no, uh, whatchamacallit, no template for this mouse, no template for this mouse, and I think my work turned out pretty stinking good. And that's, again, what I did on both of them. Again, just stick this to your mouse, 
little pencil and just kind of like sketch around it and you'll see that little line as far as the outline of your design. And then just trim it if need be and it works out absolutely fantastic and super easy. Now the skins across all these devices, they peel off very easily if you're curious about it. I mean, they're stuck on, they're good, but whenever you peel them off, they come off very easy. They don't leave a bunch of residue or anything. I've actually taken them off my mouse and then put them back on afterwards, you know what I mean? And again, you kind of stretch them and kind of fit them perfectly on there, but they don't leave a whole bunch of gunk and residue, sticky uh, stuff afterwards. And again, they come off quite easy and you can reuse them. So all in all, lizard skin grips right here, do they get my recommendation? If you stuck through this video, I'm sure you caught on. Heck yes, they do, like 100%, especially for mouse, like 100%. Like me, when I get a mouse, it's like, all right, let me get my lizard skins with my mouse whenever I order it, you know what I mean? As far as console, I guess iffy here and there, you know what I mean? I guess depending on how much and uh, you know how sweaty your hands get on console. But again, with console, you kind of just sitting there with a the mouse, you're constantly moving around and it helps out fantastic for that grip right there in comfort, you know what I mean? And these guys aren't that expensive. I believe for a mouse, you're talking right around 15 bucks. The console ones go up a little bit. You're talking right around 17 bucks, but still under 20 bucks right here, 15 bucks for the mouse one again, like, and it's a big sheet. Let me pull this out. Like it's a big sheet right here. You can cover two mice with this if you cut it perfect. Don't just take it and just cut it randomly, you know, cut each side and you can cut out two mice with this right here. So 15 bucks for two, hands down, like trust me and get these right now. And you can get them right off Amazon, all the links right down in the description. All right, so now what you all wanna hear about is the giveaway. Again, we have quite a few right here. We have three Nintendo Switch ones. I believe we have two Xbox. Yeah, two Xbox, black and green. <laughs> Look at that Xbox color, it's funny. And then we got the uh, PlayStation 2 PlayStation. By the way, as you see all these varieties of colors and then the black and red ones I had over there, they have so many different color variations to choose from. And then we have three mice ones. Uh, there's like this teal, this yellow and orange, some bright colors right there, right? Definitely not for me. <laughs> so anyways, we're gonna give away three mice, two PlayStation, two Xbox, and three Nintendo Switch. So all you have to do is number one, be a subscriber, right? And then down in the comments, write which one you would want. Do you want mouse, PlayStation, Xbox, or um, the uh, Switch? If you want multiples, put that in there as well. Cause you're gonna get, if your name gets picked and you have a mouse and someone else has already got picked with the three, then you just can be disqualified. So if you, or you can just put any, put any and you'll be entered for all of them. So if your name gets picked right there, bam, you'll get what you want. So again, all you have to do, be a subscriber and write down in the comments which one you want or if you'll take any. But anyways, that's all I have right here. Just a quick rundown. I had to share this product with you and trust me right now, I mean, even if you don't wanna wait for this giveaway, go online, especially if you're on uh, using mouse, pick up a pair of these right now, 15 bucks. You will thank me later. They are that stinking good. But I hope I answered some questions if you were ever curious about these right here and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for some future tech videos. Hey, I hope I catch you in the next one. Bye now.